No, I, I want to be with you forever. Stay with me. We can stay in New York for a little oh, I, I've got to go back to Bay City sometime. Okay. We'll go back to Bay City. Maybe get an apartment. Matthew, I, oh, I have so many things i got to deal with first. Okay, well, can't you do that with me, Ron? I'm not, I'm not so sure. Josie. Come on, after all the time we lost this summer, it's all the time we could have been together. Matthew, if I hadn't spent that time away from you, I, I don't know if we'd be together now. I don't understand. When I, when I left Bay City, I, I was sure I did the right thing. I, I, I knew that it wouldn't work between us. So I just figured that I needed to make a new start, away from everyone and everything I knew. And all I do is sit in this apartment and <laughs> think. With the cockroaches. Mm, with the cockroaches. Mm -hmm. That was a big one. That was big. You did Did you listen to me? <laughs> All I would do was, was think about you. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I was sitting right over there thinking about you the first time I heard Lily Gerard. Lucky for me. Mm. Now we're here together. Everything seems so perfect. Thing, Josie. Do we have a future together? Is that an 8 or a 15? It's a 39. Oh no, Sam, that's a total sunblock. Well, yeah, well, suntan's not good for you. But it looks so good. It's not worth it. I hate it. Nothing, nothing is good for you anymore. Pretty soon they're gonna tell me that sunblock isn't good for you. Well, let's see. Nope, it's not good for you. What? It's not. Actually, there is one thing that's really good for you. You want to mm. know what it is? Yes. It's being in a cool, shaded room. Underneath some covers. Mm-hmm. With me. Mm -hmm. No preservatives. No additives, no artificial <laughs> sweeteners. And definitely no clothes. Just you? Mm-hmm. I'm very good for your health. And Dallin, you's definitely good for what's ailing me. Oh, I have a great idea. Ooh, what's that? Why don't we, um, get rid of the sunblock? Yeah. Go check on Allie, and then, um, better out. Mm-hmm. Excuse us. Vicky. Jamie invited us to stay the day and play in the pool, didn't he? Where are we going now, Sam? Okay. Actually, I uh, I think I'll be in a minute. Okay. I had to believe she used to be my best friend once. So, Stephen, you ready for your nap time? Yeah. Just about. I thought I'd bring him outside so we could get some fresh air when he sleeps. It's nothing like a sleeping baby, is there? It's too bad you're here for his nap time. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I gave him his bottle and he got that look in his eye. Oh, I only get to see him every now and then. That's got to be tough. It's tragic. Yeah. To be able to see him every day. And then have to come and visit him. Some sort of stranger. It's really tough, Sam. Oh, he just changes so much every day. Babies do that. You know, I don't even think that much about the divorce anymore. Jamie doesn't care about me, and that's that. But to think about not being able to see Stephen 
Except for just a pathetic hour or two now and then. God, I just... I couldn't give him up. I don't think you should have to. Where did that come from? What? That sound. All I hear is the water running. Is that what you mean? No. Uh, then how about that shower? Oh, yeah. Come on, slowpoke. Catherine, look, wait, wait one second, wait one second. I have to get some phone calls done, and you should be covering the office. We'll get back to this later. Okay. Okay? Come on. Now, you call me from the office as soon as you get there and give me my messages. Then I'll see you later. Later? Not too much later. I'm a little put out. Not at all. I'm here on business, of course. Oh, business. Well, I'll go change. Oh, please don't uh, let me put you out or anything. No bother. I'll be right with you. Part. Not a bad view. Not as good as yours, of course. No. Lucas, I came here because I'm concerned about the advertising space in Sophisticate. Iris. The ratio of articles. Iris, we've been through this ten times. Lucas, I have to be certain about this. You came here to talk to me, didn't you? Yes, I wanted to discuss yes, with you. Us. No, oh, don't flatter yourself. Iris, we said we wouldn't play games with one another. Yes, we did, didn't we? Iris. All right. All right. I did come here to talk about us. I don't believe it. This guy gets almost as much action as I used to get. Oh, shut up. Let's go. Consider the implications, Frankie. What implications? Iris and Lucas are a little more than just business partners. So what? It has nothing to do with what we're after. How do you know? Look, I am not interested in the seduction of Iris. I'm sure it's a rerun anyway, so let's go. Lucas, what is it you feel for me? Oh, I feel you. I don't 
told you what I feel. You're unlike any other woman. Oh, I... to hell with the cliches. I'm trying to be honest. Lucas, I won't go on like this. Like what? You spend the night, I don't hear from you. I try to talk to you about us. I have You're a business evasive. to run. You say you're not playing games, and you never stop playing games. It's not how I think of you. Really? Well, prove it. Prove to me that you're not playing games. Answer me. Honestly, if you can. Where do I stand in your life? Hmm? You on my side? I'm not taking sides, Vicky. Well, you just said that... That you shouldn't have to lose your son. So you think Jamie is making a mistake and my son deserves to be with me? <sighs> Vicky. Mm hmm? Jamie is my brother-in-law, and he's my friend. And I also understand how he feels. You think he's being unfair? You're putting words in my mouth. Well, that's what you think, isn't it? Vicki, I think you're a very good mother. And I also know that Jamie is very angry at what happened. And because of that, he's overlooking that fact. It means a lot to hear you say that. I also remember a time when we were pretty good friends. Yeah. I miss being able to come over to your place, ring the doorbell anytime I want. Uh, well, we did a lot of that, too. Especially when we needed an emergency babysitter for Allie. Well, I like babysitting for Allie. You were very good with Allie. Things seemed so much simpler there. Yeah, a lot simpler. You know, I kind of missed the place. So do I. You're going to have to give it up soon, huh? Nope. Amanda and I are going to move back in in a couple of months. Really? Yeah, really. Why do you sound so surprised? Well, it's just that Amanda lived here and grew up here most of her life. This is how she lived. Yeah, so? So I just don't think she's going to be able to give it up again. I don't want to drop Stacy, no. I'm not saying you should. If it weren't for her, I might be in real trouble. What does that mean? Well, she's put things in perspective for me. Oh. And she understands me. And she's a very good attorney. How has she put things in perspective? Well, that in spite of all the things Vicky has done, it's possible a judge might not see it that cut and dried. That's what she said? Vicky has been the primary caregiver for Stephen since birth. That's not... To say that she's fit to caregive now. I know. But there's also the question of my fitness. You're a wonderful father. He's been married and divorced twice and working on number three. What does that have to do with your ability to parent? Well, if we're talking about stability. Jamie, you were ver married very young. Yeah, what about C Cecile and Vicky? Her, her attorney is going to paint me as some kind of bluebeard or worse. Well, then this is a very good reason to take another attorney. I know. Mom. What? Crisis in the kitchen. I can hear him from outside. Hilda and Helen are at it again. Oh, no. I think they need a ref. They love fighting. They live for fighting. Jamie, I need to talk to you about Vicky. Well, if you're wondering why she's down at the pool. No. Right? No, that isn't it. Um, this is about your case. What? Once I found out that Kenneth Martin was representing Vicky, I did a little investigating. What kind of investigating? I have a source down at the courthouse. A source? Yes, brother dear. I used to be a reporter not that long <laughs> ago. My source tells me that Kenneth Martin is having a scheduling problem next week. What kind of scheduling problem? His daughter is getting married in Seattle. What does that have to do with me? My source also tells me that Bay City Court has an opening on their calendar next week. Are you suggesting that we have the, the hearing date moved up? All Stacy would have to do is file a petition. And Vicki wouldn't have Kenneth Martin representing her. Exactly. She would have to settle for somebody else, maybe somebody second rate. Not a bad idea. This could be the key to you winning custody of your son. So come on, what are you waiting for? Call Stacy. <laughs> 